My name is Maskell Asser. I'm artist in residence at the Broad Institute. My work is always contingent on the context in which I find myself. Um, it develops completely out of my immediate experience, so it's difficult for me to have a, an overarching premise uh, without the specifics of the context from which it derives. What I've discovered at the Broad is space and potential is made available for people who are willing to explore the possibilities and there's not a lot of predetermined structure and that was a sensibility that completely agreed with my approach to, to making work. Um, my background is from a, a mother who is a painter and a father who is a research scientist so I have a, a sympathy I guess for the common language between art and science, and so an opportunity to spend some time at the Broad and explore that further was something that, uh, that I really look forward to. I definitely started in this experience with the, the suspicion that there was something productive to be gained from the negotiation of some common ground between art and science. Uh, if anything, I've, I've been tremendously surprised by how similar uh, what I do and what happens here actually is. I've definitely had more on-point conversations about my own work in the context of the science and scientific research than I ever have with any section of the artistic community, which I find very interesting. I mean, there's, in a real basic sense, a, a real equivalence with how scientists and, dare I speak for artists, I interact with the world in terms of, you know, apprehending a a physical reality that's outside of the mind and then abstracting it and then re-representing it for for some sort of consumption or or for other people to to interpret so definitely on that front I've been uh, just overwhelmed by the the similarities and sort of the productiveness of the conversations that I've had again over the the common ground between between science and art I, I guess if I if I had to articulate something or, or one thing for people to, um, as, as sort of a, a handle or a, a toehold into the work. It, it would be not, not to consider it so much as artwork, but as uh, an experience in the everyday quotidian world uh, without the, the guise of art surrounding or supporting it. And when one recognizes something in, in the everyday present, there's sort of a shock of awareness that happens that is not present when one's expecting an artistic experience. And I think a great deal of my effort in my work is to try to get past that apprehension of it as artwork and start to engage with people just with just as people engaging with objects in the real world. And through that introduce sort of an element of of strange into the familiar and unexpected in in the everyday.